This video, we're going to be talking about the Integrating Essential Skills ACT category of factors and least common multiples. We're going to start off with talking about factors. So when we talk about factors, we're talking about the numbers that we multiply together to get an original number, or it could be expressions. We're going to talk a little bit more expressions in the algebra section. Right now, we're mainly focusing on numbers, and the numbers we're talking about are usually whole number factors unless specified otherwise. I think that's a lot of words, but you'll see here in the examples what we're talking about. So if you're asked to find the factors of 12, what we're looking for are the numbers that evenly divide into 12. So we can list those, and we know that the numbers that evenly divide into 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Those are the factors of 12. Let's look at another example, find the factors of 36. So work on that and find the factors of 36, the numbers that evenly divide into 36, and we get this series of numbers. And this really covers the basics of what we're talking about with factors. Now, the corresponding skill that we talk about here is going to be least common multiple. A lot of times people get factors and multiples mixed up. Let's take a look at this. When we're talking about least common multiple, we're looking for the smallest positive number that is a multiple of two or more numbers. So we need to know what a multiple is. When we're looking for what a multiple is, that results from multiplying your original number with a number. So like when we're looking at the multiples of three, we're gonna multiply three by one, two, three, four, five, it could go on and on. So you know the multiples of three to be three, six, nine, 12, 15. Multiples go on and on there. There are infinite number of multiples of a number. A question that you may have is find the least common multiple of two numbers, in this case, six and eight. So what we're gonna have to do is look at the multiples of six and look at those of eight. We can't find, we're not gonna find all of them because like we said, there's an infinite number, but we find a couple until we're looking for the one that they have in common, the least one that they have in common. So first we would have to look at a couple of multiples of six we say, let's say 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. We can stop after a while and then look at the next to see if we can find a, a common one. And we do that when we get to 8, 16, 24. We see that 24 is a multiple of both 6 and 8. And it's the least, the smallest multiple of these two sets. So the answer for the least common multiple of 6 and 8 is 24. So that covers the basic definitions of factors of numbers and least common multiples or multiples of number. Keeping those definitions in mind are important. You may have questions on the ACT that just ask straight up, what is the least common multiple of a series of numbers? Or ask for a factor. Or you may have to use that skill in a modeling type question, one that is maybe a multi-step question. So just be familiar with these terms. These are also keywords, multiple and factors because it's important to know what they are as you're reading through a math question to know how to answer and set up the problem. So now let's take a look at an example ACT type question. So pause the video here and work this for yourself and then come back and we'll go through the answer. Okay, so we wanna look, we have to find the multiples of each of these numbers, 12, 15, and 20. And so we find a series of these until we find the one that's the smallest number that they have in common, and that appears to be the 60. So our answer is going to be answer choice D, 60.